In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to recover a group of deleted contacts. So if you delete contacts that you want to retrieve, um, you're going to follow these steps to recover the contacts demographics. Now the demographics include all data that is included in an exported file. So let's take a look at what's included in an exported file. So first we're going to go to settings. export data down here at the bottom left hand corner export contacts alright so now this is the information that you're going to be able to retrieve so you're going to be able to retrieve uh, their name email address company address uh, phone numbers fax your custom fields that you have in here uh, a brief note, category, category 2, referred by source, assigned to flags, date added, and last edit date. So this is the only information that you're going to be able to um, to recover using the, this technique. So um, you're not going to be able to recover attachments, things like that. So. so let's just say that you go into your client touch and you go into client touch and you are wanting to delete um, I have demo contacts in here just for reference so let's just say that I uh, want to delete my demo contacts so I click on the demo contacts and then I go to actions and I delete these contacts it says are you sure you want to permanently delete these contacts from your database I understand that there is no undo. I will show you around this. And then you hit continue. All right, so now it's going to show you a list and just give you a warning um, that they're going to be gone. And then you got to re enter your password and delete these contacts forever. I can see that it's working because the wheel is spinning up here so it's deleting the contacts out of the database and now if you go into add contacts there's no more demo contacts right here um, so now I'm going to show you a way if you accidentally deleted those contacts and you're wanting to retrieve them there is a way however there's very limited things uh, that you'll be able to to recover so for instance if I go into Brian Smith and I have you know these notes it's not gonna recover some of these to do unfortunately it's not gonna recover some of these attachments unfortunately it's not going to um, recover these so there are certain things that are not going to be able to be recovered from deleted contacts whenever you delete them out of the system which in whenever we whenever you go to delete them it does say that they're gone forever so it does give a warning however we're going to show you how to get at least the exported uh, file so uh, basically you're going to go um, to the URL up here at the top so mydynamiccrm.com forward slash and then what you're going to do is you're going to type in uh, exported files.aspx okay so it's going to be mydynamiccrm.com forward slash exported files.aspx and then you're going to hit enter all right and then here is the database that I deleted so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the link right here and we're just going to save this to my demo account and I'm gonna click on save alright so now that I have that saved now what I could do is I could take these deleted contacts I go back to imported contacts I'm going to enable the import of category sources and flags I like to always allow duplicates to be imported and I'm going to choose the file and I'm going to re-import these back into the system hit next it's going to map 
this out. Uh, you shouldn't really have to do much because it's uh, re-importing information back in. Uh, so and then there's the demo contact flag. So really you shouldn't have to do anything here on the field mapping area because what the system did whenever you deleted it, it took the exported file and it stored it into um, a backup. And then now you're just exporting that back out of the backup onto your computer. And now you're re-importing it in there. So it should keep the same columns and things like that. So you click on run import. And then you want to send these imported contacts to client touch. Once you're in client touch, what you'll do is, let's see here, go down to email opt-in wizard, click on email opt-in wizard, and basically you're opting them back into your system. That's just so you could email them out of the system. So you're gonna re-opt them into the system, and then now that they're opted into the system, now you can go back into contacts, and then here's your flag. You find whatever flag that uh, they came from, and then uh, you'll be able to go in there and start uh, working on them again.